Moving over to the data import section, this is a very critical area um, when you are adopting Katana the first time. It's pretty common that uh, a lot of the data you have is coming from other systems that isn't compatible with Katana uh, natively. Um, so you'll have to do some prep work to getting your information into uh, the Katana platform. So when you get started and We'll be doing a dedicated season for that, um, which is getting data into Katana, um, which would include anything that's from creating things manually to importing it from spreadsheets to capturing it directly from um, an integration. Uh, we'll cover those topics in general. But what you can find here on this page is uh, when you start poking around and making your own, um, making your own uh, products or doing stock adjustments or stock counts, um, then this is the place where you would do that from. So we have the add new products and new materials where you can download templates. Uh, we've also got add new product recipes and operations where you can download those templates. And also um, if you're on the pro package, we support batch tracking, which has its own import, believe it or not. And uh, we have uh, the ability to add sales orders through a electronic medium. This is quite common for companies that want to bring in maybe some retroactive data. Um, in addition to that, uh, adding new customers as well. Uh, there's a way to set that up if you need to do this. Um, and then if you already have information in Katana's platform, uh, you can update your existing products or materials, as well as update your stock levels and stock values. So anything that's related to uh, Excel spreadsheets, CSVs, um, and getting information into your Katana system, uh, this is the location where that information is available and you can, you can use it.